up you guys we'll go back to another one if you're new to the channel i am gold pony as a new car truck suv reviews on youtube and today we're in the brand new 2024 nissan versa courtesy of younger nissan in frederick maryland for more information on their inventory please feel free to check out the link in the description box below so we're in this one today because this one starts at right around sixteen thousand dollars which is more or less unheard of these days so that's pretty amazing manual transmission is actually still available for the versa as well also very rare there and this is probably the nicest versa that i have ever been in just personally so i actually am impressed right from the get-go here so ultimately in this video we will be testing out and going over everything about this one from acceleration to braking steering wheel, ride quality sound system exhaust clip all that fun stuff so having said all of that what do you guys say let's just go ahead and jump right into it and as always let's start with pricing and so as you can imagine there are a few different trim levels for the 2024 versa first one being the s starting at sixteen thousand two hundred ninety dollars wow sv for nineteen thousand five hundred and eighty dollars being the trim level we are in today and the sr starting at twenty thousand three hundred dollars but regardless of trim level that you go with the power plant on the versa is going to be the same powering the little beast is a 1.6 liter naturally aspirated inline four cylinder putting out 122 horsepower at 60 300 rpm 114 pound feet of torque coming in at 4000 rpm that power being sent to the front wheels through your choice of either a five speed manual that's come standard by the way for the s trim level only or a cvt zero to 60 time coming in at approximately 9.5 seconds with mpg numbers coming in at 27 in the city 35 on the highway for the manual 32 city 40 then on the highway for the cvt either way taking regular unleaded fuel and so before we do any kind of fun acceleration test here in the Versa, wanting to mention to you guys the drive mode. Yes, singular. There is a sport driving mode. It is hidden. It is a horizontal line located on the shifter itself, basically, but adjusting things like the shift points and the throttle response. So now that we got all of that out of the way, what do you guys say? Let's go ahead and find a straightaway. Let's put the Versa here to the test and let's see how quickly we can get our new 2024 Versa here in sport mode up to speed. All right, we're just merging now. Yo, baby. Okay, it's it's slow. I'm just gonna be honest. This is not the quickest thing in the world. So it's one of those things though, like the more you drive your car, the more they get used to it. So it's kind of like driving a Chevy Camaro or a Nissan 370Z with horrible visibility, but all the owners will tell you, you get used to it. So it's kind of like that. You learn to know your car a little better and you learn how to merge onto the highway, things like that. But it's it's quicker than a Mitsubishi Mirage. I'll put it that way, about, about three seconds, but Still, not the quickest thing in the world. But anyways, it should be reliable because it's not turbocharged. I do like that bet. To go along with that acceleration, as always, braking is equally important. And so up front, you will find 10-inch ventilated front discs. In the back, 8-inch rear drum brakes. As far as that 60-0 stopping distance goes, that comes in at 124 feet. As far as braking feel goes, it bites, man. It bites. Like, you don't think there's rear drum brakes because this thing instantly brings you to a stop. And that 124-foot number, that's plenty respectable. It's pretty much on par for the course. Anything in the one teens is a sports sedan. Anything in the 130s is an SUV. So 124 feet, that's like your average sedan. So absolutely nothing wrong there. Then touching on suspension and handling up front, you're going to get an independent strut-type front suspension. In the back, torsion beam, rear suspension, and front stabilizer bar then as well. As far as ride quality goes, uh, you do tend to feel a little bit more of the road in uh, subcompact cars like the Versa, but having said that, my short little test drive here today at least, it's nothing that would personally bother me. I'll just put it that way. As far as steering feel goes, it does tend to lean a little bit on the looser side of things, kind of reminiscent of like a Toyota Corolla basically. Um, so I wouldn't have minded if they firmed up or give the weight to the steering a little bit more heaviness, but um, it is to be expected in a car like this. I'll just put it that way. As far as cabin noise goes, uh, we're going 38 miles per hour right now. I'll let you guys be the judge through the road mic here um, to get a little bit of road noise. But again, it's nothing that would personally bother me. Then touching on rear visibility, it's excellent. I can see perfectly fine out the back. So when it comes to visibility in the Versa, 100% not going to have any issues. But that pretty much rounds out the performance segment of this review, you guys. Let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2024 Nissan Versa. All right, so here she is, you guys, the new 2024 Nissan Versa finished in Aspen White Tri-Coat. 
case you were curious of our exact exterior color name that we had on this one here today. As always, let's go ahead and start with where the Versa is made, taking a look at the VIN. First character is the number three, indicating that the Nissan Versa is built and assembled in Mexico, in case you were curious. But starting up front here, Chrome V-Motion front grille will come standard on the S and SV trim levels. Dark chrome V-Motion front grille coming standard on the SR. SR is going to be the sportier trim level of the bunch, of course. Halogen headlights for the S and S V trims. That's what you guys are looking at. Then LED headlights for the SR with LED daytime running lights. You do get the automatic feature, though, with the SV and SR. So when it starts to get dark at night, these headlights will automatically turn on for you. So one less thing you got to worry about there. Very convenient feature there. But best illumination at night is going to come with that SR trim, of course. Fog lights then are going to be available. You guys can see the cutouts down below there, of course. They aren't coming standard on anything, but they are available if you wanted them. But that pretty much rounds out the front end. I liked the refresh when they did that last year. Definitely looks good in my opinion. Makes it more of a wider look in the front, so more aggressive look. But that pretty much rounds out the front end. Let's now go ahead and make our way to the side. And so now since we are around to the side of the Versa, black window surrounds will come standard. You do have that floating roof line on the C pillar there, differentiating the roof from the rest of the body power adjustable side mirrors do come standard they're going to be with a matte black finish for the s trim level gloss black for the sr and then body colored for the sv and then also heated for the sr trim level as well black door handles will come standard on that s trim level however with the sv and sr they are going to be finished in body colored door handles so i do like that taking a look down at the wheel setup then 15 inch steel wheels with covers for that s trim 16 inch aluminum alloys for the sv and then 17 inch aluminum aluminum alloys for the SR, but that pretty much rounds out the side profile. Let's now go ahead and make our way to the back. All right, so now since we are around to the back of the Versa, all the way to the top, you're gonna to find a body-colored shark fin antenna. Just below that, you're gonna find a body-colored rear spoiler for the SR trim level only, hence the reason we do not have it with us here today. But one of the cool things that the Versa does, and the Sentra does as well, actually, but you do get a body-colored rear diffuser down below there. I think that looks dang good in my personal opinion, so well done, Nissan, for that. However, I do wish they would have included LED tail lights on the Versa so they are of course halogen bulbs so not as quite as bright as the LEDs of course but just below it all you will find a single exhaust outlet tucked away underneath on the passenger side there so having said that I do believe you guys know what we have to do next here as always here is that exhaust clip All right, so now since we are around to the back of this one, when it comes to opening that rear trunk, there is gonna be a key slot for the S trim level. However, for the SV and SR, there is a button on the key fob. There's also a button kind of on the driver's side floor here as well. But once opened up, cargo capacity comes in at 14.7 cubic feet for that S trim level. However, you do get a little bit more space with the SV and SR coming in at 15 cubic feet even. If that was not enough space, there is a 60-40 split only for the SV and SR trims. That S trim level, the rear seats are not going to fold down, but the SV and SR, the rear seats do fold down for quite a bit of extra space then if you needed it. There is some cargo lighting back there, of course, and then if you were to lift up underneath of that cargo floor, you're going to find a spare tire with quite a bit of space surrounding that spare tire, so you could probably put an ice scraper in there or something if you wanted to, but did want to also mention we have a couple grocery bag hooks back there as well. Didn't want to overlook that because that's something you typically find in SUVs, but very rarely cars, especially subcompact cars like the Versa, so that was pretty cool. So then making our way up to the rear legroom that is going to come in at 31 inches even for reference i'm an even six feet tall this is how much space i had back there there's going to be a single usb charging port that does come standard on the versa no rear ventilation unfortunately and no rear center armrest either but then make our way up to the front seats manually adjustable cloth seating will come standard for all trim levels across the board however if you were to go with the sv you're going to get a premium cloth and then the sport cloth is going to be found on the sr so slightly different texture slightly different different color configurations but overall as far as seat comfort goes it was actually not that bad I didn't have any issues on my short little test drive here today I do want to also mention get heated front seats for the SR trim level only and I do like the kind of contrast between the blue and the black that we have on our particular setup that we have with us here today and there's more of those blue accents and I'll touch on that when we get to the interior quality but now let's go ahead and take a look at the steering wheel it is tilt and telescoping and it's going to be leather wrapped for the SR trim level otherwise of course wrapped in Europe 
urethane and it is a flat bottom actually for all trim levels across the board as well so that was pretty cool then make your way to the startup let me start by showing you guys the key it does have a nice heft to it so definitely a fan of the feel to the key you got your nissan logo on the top lock unlock and the button to pop the rear trunk there as well but the sr trim level is going to add a remote start and keyless entry with a push button start which we also coincidentally have today on our sv trim level so all i'm going to do here is simply put my foot of the brake and press that engine start button located just in front of the shifter and so once started up these gauges are actually not too bad so the digital portion is going to be found on the left and that is customizable speedometer is on your right but the digital portion is going to give you things like the time of the day how many miles you have left until you hit empty there's your outside temperature of course trip a trip b fuel information and all of that is changeable by using the steering wheel mounted controls found on the left side of the steering wheel there so quite a bit of information you can play around with up there so i actually don't mind the gauges at all but now let's go ahead and make our way to overall interior quality. Automatic climate control coming standard on the SR trim level. Wireless phone charger for the SV and SR. I love that. That's just in front of the shifter and it's uh, rubberized bottom so your phone doesn't slide around either. So that's very rare in this segment, the subcompact segment. So big fan of seeing that. And actually they didn't do that bad of a job at this price point. Let me tell you why. You get a bunch of gloss black finishes surrounding the shifter and a lot of the competition will leave that a matte gray or a matte black plastic so well done nissan for doing that get a couple cup holders behind the shifter within the center armrest there is a little bit of storage there is a usb charging port in there as well but i also like the kind of carbon fiber look kind of finishes that you find on the top of the shifter as well as on the doors they didn't have to do that but they did they could have left it like a matte black plastic or a matte gray plastic like a lot of the competition does but they put a texturized design to it but my favorite part to go along with the blue seats is the blue touches found just above the passenger side glove box and surrounding the infotainment screen which we'll get to here in a second but that just makes the whole interior pop and i love the way it ties together with the seats like i said so that was my favorite part when I first sat in this one. It looked absolutely amazing. Not to mention the chrome door handles as well. A lot of the competition, even in the compact car segment, will leave that in matte gray or in matte black, but Nissan chose to finish it in chrome. So they definitely did a very good job considering the price point here of the Versa. I'm just saying, but now let's go ahead and take a look at the infotainment screen. Like I said, seven inch color touchscreen display coming standard with the S and SV trims and then an eight inch color touchscreen display for the SR. Either way, you get Bluetooth and audio streaming. Android Auto, Apple CarPlay though for the SV and SR trim levels only. So that S trim, it's not gonna get Android Auto, Apple CarPlay unfortunately. So keep that in mind. Of course, you can check out your radio information up there as well. And so when it comes to the sound systems, there are two of them. You're gonna find a four speaker sound system for the S and SV trims, and then a six speaker sound system for the SR. So having said that, we do have the four speaker sound system with us here today. So let's go ahead and turn on the radio, see what we got playing this morning and Let's test out the clarity of this one. You could tell it's a four speaker sound system. Actually, bass was a little bit more than I expected. That was also FM radio, so it wasn't even Sirius XM or linked with Bluetooth or anything like that. So I would imagine the clarity would be a lot better if those circumstances were present. But again, FM radio, the bass I could tell was okay. Uh, the clarity, four speakers. Hey. Eh. Anyways, last thing I wanted to mention to you guys on the infotainment screen is when you do put the Versa in reverse, you will find a rear view camera coming standard across the board for all trim levels, letting you know who or what is behind you, which is always is going to lead us into safety. And so front side side curtain airbags do come standard. You do get driver and passenger knee airbags up front as well. You don't always get that. So that's pretty cool. In the back, you're going to have latch, aka lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats, rear child door locks, tire pressure monitoring system, but also coming standard forward collision warning, autonomous emergency braking with pedestrian detection, lane departure warning, high beam assist, and reverse automatic braking as well. That all comes standard on the S trim level. That is nuts. Anyways, overall, when it comes to my final thoughts here of the Sentra, this is an extremely affordable vehicle, maybe the most affordable vehicle here in the U.S., starting at just over $16,000. That is incredible with all the inflation we've been seeing lately so well done nissan for pulling that off great fuel economy as well getting 40 miles per gallon you really can't argue with that and believe it or not i actually love the interior quality of the versa here i can't believe i'm saying that but 
At this price point, I'm not sure it gets much better. I mean, these blue accents look absolutely amazing. I'm so used to seeing black and gray and tan, and that's it. And sometimes red for Toyota, but very rarely do I see this nice ocean blue, which looks absolutely amazing on the seats, just above the passenger side glove box, like I said, and I absolutely love it. I think that probably made the interior for me. So Nissan, keep doing that. As far as room for improvement goes, it's slow, but it is faster than the Mitsubishi Mirage, if that means anything. So I, I mean, it's something you get used to, but it is slow. But the other thing I still believe today in this day and age, LEDs should be standard for all cars out there. So, and that's something that you can get standard on a, a base Corolla or a base Civic or a, a, a base um, Elantra as well. I know those are compacts and this is a subcompact, but still, I think it's doable at, at minimum LED taillights. I'm just saying. But anyways, let me know what you guys think of the Versa in the comment section below. That is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media if you want to see different spy shots of the cars I'm filming before they actually get to YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews because that is what we do here on this channel after all. Do appreciate you guys watching more than you know, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold. My heart rages around like an ocean in my head.